Oh, hello there. Ha, I did not see you there. Old Bob's recording again. It must mean it is a folk tale day. And we all love a good folk tale on this channel. Now, I am Braggy, and as you know, I am a Viking storyteller. And today I have a scary story to tell you of the devil and of a character called Jack of Kent. Now, many, many years ago, in the land of our ancestors, in the home of the Angles and the Saxons, there lived a man whose name was Jack of Kent. And many people knew and have heard of how he had sold his soul when he was a young man to the devil for supernatural powers. Some folks say he had incredible strength, whilst others said he could run faster than lightning. And other people said that he was the wisest man in England because of his gained knowledge. Now, one day our character Jack, he was walking from his farmstead, his longhouse, to a local town to go and buy some pigs. The livestock was very important, and so he set off walking one morning very early when the sun rose, and he was walking down an old road, a very straight road, some say was built by the Romans, but that is another story. And so, as he went along the road, he came to a hill, and he looked down the hill, and he saw a stranger on the road walking towards him. And as the stranger and Jack got closer and closer, the two of these people became, Jack knew who it was. You may, you may be asking now at home, who is it, Braggy? Who is it walking? Who is the stranger? Well, the stranger was the devil. Scary. And you may be asking yourself, well, how did Jack know that this was the devil? For the devil had horns on his head, and his feet were like hoofs of a goat. And both Jack and the devil met. And Jack said, uh, hey, hey up youth, how you doing Mr. Devil? And the devil said, oh I'm alright there Jack of Kent. I'm just walking about England causing some devilness, some mischief. And I'm very glad that I bumped into you, because I want you Jack to go and buy me 12 pigs, a dozen pigs at the market, and meet me on this hill at noon today with the pigs. And so, Jack agreed to this, he agreed to go and buy the devil some pigs. But before he left, he said to the devil, which pigs do you want? Do you want the pigs with the curly tails, or do you want the pigs with the straight tails? Well, the devil, he, he would his pointy chin, his pointy beard, and he said, Ha 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 ha! I will have the pigs with the curly tails. And Jack left. And he carried on walking, he went through a stream, and eventually in the distance he could see the town. It was very busy, it was market day. And in a certain place in the market they had all the livestock. And there was an old trader called Neo with a long beard who traded in pigs. And Jack went up to him and gave him some coin from his purse and brought a, you know, two dozen pigs. But before he left he saw another store that was selling seeds and he brought a large sack of beans, straight beans. And so Jack walking back, guiding the pigs with his stick, walking stick. He got halfway there to where he was going to meet the devil, and he was a bit hungry, and so was the pigs. So he decided to get some of the beans out of the bag. He grabbed the bag, got the beans out, and scattered the beans on the floor. But when the pigs all ate the beans, something very strange happened to the pigs with the curly tails. Very quickly, and in a most supernatural way, all of the curly tails went straight. 
Well, Jack was amazed by this, but he also knew that he had helped with the devil somehow. And so walking along with the sack of beans on his back and the old crook and 24 pigs, he came to the hill where the devil met him. And the devil said, Ah, Jack, you're here with the pigs. And now I will take all of the pigs with the curly tails. But what do you think happened? The devil looked at the pigs, and not one pig had a curly tail. And the devil knew that Jack had outwitted him. And he said that you must go to the market again tomorrow. And this time I will have all the pigs with the straight tails. And you will have all the pigs with the curly tails. And so, very reluctantly, Jack agreed to this. And so the next morning when the sun rose, Jack got up. He did not have a sack, but he had his stick. And he was walking along with his stick to the market. And he came to the market. And again he went to the place in the market when, where they sold all of the animal stock. There was pigs and there was goats and sheep and cattle and horses. And even ducks. But Jack was after pigs. And so he bought 24 pigs again. 12 for himself and 12 for the devil. And the devil would have all the pigs with the straight tail. And Jack would have all the pigs with the curly tail. And that was quite luckily that there was 12 of each. And so with his stick he guided the pigs back along the lanes. But in between the hill where the devil was waiting at noon and the market, there was a stream, a small beck, a small river. And he had to drive the pigs through the stream. Go on, go through the stream, come on. And he would use this walking stick. It was a very good tool for pointing and directing livestock. But something again supernatural happened when the pigs went through the stream. Because all the pigs with the curly tails, all of the curly tails when they went through the stream suddenly became straight. And again Jack knew he had beat the devil for now he had 24 pigs with straight tails. And so reluctantly knowing he was going to outwit the devil, he met the devil on the hill. And he came to the top of the hill and the devil looked at the pigs and he says, No, oh, you got me again for there are no pigs with curly tails and I will get no pigs and the devil would not agree for a third time he just walked away with no pigs and this is how Jack outwitted the devil with pigs a lovely fantastic story and one day we will make a video on Jack of Kent who was he in real life was he a real person what did he do did Jack really sell his soul to the devil I think that will make a very interesting folklore video. So, for now, it is time for me to say goodbye. Goodbye! But don't forget, leave a comment. And if you're new to the channel, then we do urge you to go and subscribe. Goodbye. Goodbye, folks. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going now.